Students will be back on campus at St. Augustine's University next week, and they'll have a new interim president when they come back. Thanks for joining us. I'm Liz Ortiz. And I'm Rod Carter. Dr. Marcus Burgess takes over at a time when the university is now facing a lawsuit from the former head football coach. They're facing an EEOC complaint from the former president who was fired recently. Today, he told me he is focused on making sure the university, though, is successful. As long as I can see, we're going to see another 156 years. Dr. Marcus Burgess, the new interim president at St. Augustine's University, is excited about the tasks ahead. Tasks he admits are daunting, to say the least. I'll be lying to you if I don't go to bed late and wake up early trying to think of opportunities. And, they, and there are tremendous opportunities right now. When I sat with him one on one, I asked him first off about two big issues the university is facing. The first, an EEOC complaint from recently fired President Dr. Christine McPhail claiming discrimination, including race and gender bias by the Board of Trustees. The other is from fired head football coach Howard Feggins, who claims the university irreparably tarnished his coaching career and two employees created an environment of fear and intimidation. What can you tell us about the, the complaint and the lawsuit that the university is facing? Where do we stand on those things? Right now, you know, I wish I can tell you more, but that, mm -hmm. um, you know, our legal team has advised us that, you know, they are taking care of that. So we have no comments for that at this time. Another major challenge confronting Dr. Burgess and the university is accreditation. In December, the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges issued this letter saying, on December 3rd, 2023, their board of trustees voted to remove St. Augustine's University from membership as an accredited institution. It went on to say, if the institution appeals the decision by submitting a formal request in accordance with the policy, the institution will maintain accreditation on probation pending the decision of the appeals committee. I spoke with Dr. Burgess about that today. I know that um, you guys are still accredited until, pending the outcome of an appeal. Has that appeal been filed? No, sir. So we are awaiting our official letter from SAC COC on January the 11th. At that time, we will uh, begin the appeal process. Actually, this afternoon, we will, we will begin the appeal process. Mm -hmm. We have members of our team that we're gathering to go ahead and get our notes together um, to get a, a quick and um, ad adequate response. We also have uh, representation from the United Nigger College from the UNCF who will be joining us via Zoom today to offer their support as well. This is not his first stop at an historically black college. In fact, he was most recently the vice president for institutional advancement at Claflin University in South Carolina. Advancement is precisely what he plans to do at St. Augs. Advance a university that is steeped in rich history and mired in challenges. Dr. Burgess is starting with an aggressive finance campaign. Of all the things that, you know, in these current times have gone wrong at this institution, it's put a, a, a tough, it's put a damper on us being able to do the job that we need to do for the students and for the faculty and staff. So this Falcon Pride Initiative is going to help us raise the money to be able to do the things that we need to do to remain successful. And once the university receives the official accreditation letter, they have 10 days to appeal, not 10 business days, but 10 days total. Uh, throughout that appeal process, they will remain accredited. By the way, I did ask Dr. Burgess about his potential for becoming the president permanently, and he told me he is definitely interested in the job.